Thank you. Let me take this opportunity to pass my condolences for the passing away of this heroine of this country. And as we are saddened by her demise, we also celebrate her life. And most important, the fortitude and the consistency. Mukami Kimadi never changed her ideals. Despite living her life in, under very difficult conditions, and despite watching, as many other of us enjoyed the benefits which her and her husband, Dedan Kimadi, struggled and fought for, even with Kimadi paying for his life. And for us, it is actually a call to patriotism and a call to look at the interest of the nation and the interest of future generations over our interest. Mukami Kimadi and Dedan Kimadi may have passed away, but the question still lingers. Did we get the fair dividend of the struggle for freedom? And did those people who sacrificed most for this country to be where we are, did they reap the dividend? That question will not die with Mukami Kimadi, did not die with Dedan Kimadi, will not pass away because of our generation, it will linger for a long time to come. And actually, it's one of the questions that we as a country have to grapple with. I want to say that uh, uh, ourselves, uh, as a leadership, under the leadership of the Deputy President, uh, we had our plans, which were actually start, uh, supposed to launch next week, to support this family. And I, I am sure that uh, uh, under the leadership of the Deputy President, we are going to continue with those plans and stand with the family. Most important, not just the family members, but the legacy of Dedan Kimadi and Mokami Kimadi must be institutionalized. I take this opportunity to ask our almighty Lord to rest her soul in eternal peace.